Good morning children. Today we will learn maths and specially we will revise maths because nowadays we are doing patterns and your previous chapter shapes that is also many thing you have to revise because this chapter is new for you as many things you have to learn in shape like lines like corners like identification of our shapes some of the things are there i think that revision should be taken because nowadays your test is going on so chapter wise test will come before that we will revise this chapter and then it will end you can do everything easily after revising this so let us start the revision of shapes chapter that is chapter number 6 you have learned many shapes in like circle like triangle like rectangle like square like uh, star shape like diamond shape many things but before that before learning the shapes you have to learn you have to know more about lines because without lines no shapes can be formed isn't it so for forming shapes any shape line is needed lines are also different type some are standing line that you have learned some are slipping lines that also you have learned some are slanting lines that also you have learned some are curved lines that also you have learned so let us revise one more time so that you can easily understand this chapter okay so what is the notion given main the given lines and form shapes and complete the following let us see step by step first step i have given here lines types of lines here here name of that lines you can easily identify which type of lines are they this is standing line this is slipping lines this is slanting lines and these are called curved lines so you have to write here the spelling standing lines s t a n d i n g standing we write here lines l i n e s okay this is slipping lines we we'll write here s l w e p i n g slipping here l i n e s slipping lines this is slanting lines s l a n t i n g slanting here lines l i n e s okay this is curved lines c u r v e d curved l i n e s so lines about about lines you have learned you know also a spelling you have to learn now what is given you have already written the name of these lines now form shapes with the help of these lines you have to form shapes already i have done see here this is standing line standing line and this is slipping lines this is slipping slipping line so we have form a square you can get if you increase that it will be a rectangle so this is a looks like a square so number of slipping lines this is slipping line 1 and 2 number of slipping lines here 2 number of standing line standing I have to correct the spelling yes have to correct the spelling s t a n d i n g okay number of standing lines here this is standing lines standing lines is equal to 2 here yes so this is a it looks like a square so we will write here square as u u a r e s u u 
A and E square. Okay, it looks like a square. If you increase this line, it becomes a rectangle. Okay. So once again, I am writing. We have used here two types of lines. One is standing lines. Other is sleeping lines. And with the help of two standing lines and two sleeping lines, we have formed a square. So number of sleeping lines here is two. Number of standing lines here also two. So this is a square. Now let's move to next shape. That is. We can see here. We have taken here slanting lines. Two slanting lines we can see, and one sleeping line we can see, and we have formed this shape. This is called a triangle. So number of slanting lines. This is slanting. This is that is two. And number of sleeping lines. This is sleeping line one. So which shape is this? This is a triangle. P R I A N G L E triangle. So this way you can form any shape. You can form cross shape, anything like. Then you have to write as a no space here. So I have not drawn many shapes. In your book, many shapes given. Surrounding your area, you can see many shapes. There you can identify lines. Suppose if I take the shape of this uh, this uh, classroom board, what shape it is? It is a rectangle. How many sleeping lines are there? This is one. This is two. How many standing lines are there? One, two. Here also two sleeping lines, two standing lines. So this way any shape you can take. Before that you have to identify this line. You have to learn about this line. Which lines are called what? This is standing. This is sleeping. This is slanting. This is curved. Okay, clear.